As early as 6.30 a.m. this morning, Port Belief stormed Mengo Kisenyi to demolish structures lying on a one-acre piece of land. <laughs> On the land was an Islamic founded school and a mosque. <laughs> The one acre piece of land was sold to Johnny Bosco Muonge at a cost of 2.5 billion shillings. <laughs> Muonge plans to build an arcade on the land. The leaders of Spidika Foundation, a Muslim organization, claim that they sold the land for a better value elsewhere. Believe that they've been told to take the land away because they're Muslim and Arabic. No one is going to say they're not in the Muslim union. Believe that they're not in the Muslim union. Leaders of Spidika Foundation, a Muslim organization, realizing that Kisenyi was unfit to run Muslim activities, they bought this land where they hope to construct a modern mosque and other developments. Along Mwanga 2 Road in Mengo. Nature Papachina, Erijabada, Warala. Baba Salam Jagarish, but you mentioned your show with Chiri. We move on moving your scent, Mugula, Warala, Dubaco, but Jet to Dukanich for Chiro, Echipia, Eracha Some of the Muslims gathered at the grounds where the mosque stood for Juma prayers on Friday. <laughs> They are choosing their colleagues of acting selfishly. It is the Muslims themselves which is very unfortunate. Rather, it's a habit. Muslims are getting a habit of selling their properties. So we should come out as Muslims. They Despite protest, the demolition exercise went on uninterrupted. I want to mention that this eviction has been very peaceful. To work in the middle of Kisenyi Mengo, and no stone is thrown on against the police, and no tear gas has been released, even one single, I am successful. And this was a message for those who attempt to chase them away from the harrowed grounds. Oh, you don't have to come on, I'm going to go to Kabiza Jagakaba. Go to Kabiza Jagakaba. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.